welcome to another video. Uh, this one is a bit of a teardown of an old TV that somebody gave me um, to see what parts can be recovered from it. Um, thank you to all my current subscribers. Uh, it's doing really well. Um, if you like my videos, subscribe, tell your friends, share. Leave us a thumbs up if you can and a comment would be great. Okay. This is the TV. Um, it's working but I'm not switching it on because I don't want to charge up the capacitors inside. First thing they recovered is this uh, cable, I suppose. Um, so let me get it apart and have a look at the back. Well, that's the back of it off, and you can see here we've got the main CRT screen. And there's a few components here. And on here we've got the main uh, part here. There's the flyback transformer. Oh, there's a massive inductor. Um, well, when you take these things apart, you have to be careful because obviously there's some big caps in here. I haven't switched this on, um, so they shouldn't be charged. However, uh, they do all 400 volts, so and they can hold it for a long time. So be extra careful if you take one of these things apart. There's also a nice uh, copper wire that runs all around the edge of the screen, yeah, which is thick and useful. Uh, and you've got the TV controls up there, I think. So, um, I'll get to remove this and then let's have a look a bit closer. So that's a lot of the wires disconnected, including the big wire that run, runs around the edge. Uh, we've come to this part here. And obviously, you don't want to smash this. Uh, it'll evacuate all the gas. Uh, the way to remove this, there's a um, like a Jubilee clip here you can undo. And that should then slide off. So I'll remove that. So that's the Jubilee clip type device. And there also was a zip tie which I've removed off there, cut off. And as you can see now it's moving. So I just got to remove this bit of uh, insulation here. And that should slide straight off. That's that bit of insulation removed. So now you can slide this part straight off. Now look at all the tasty copper wire in there. And there's also some components inside there, which I'll remove shortly. So next, let's get this uh, board out and have a look. Just before I remove the board, um, how to remove this sucker type thing. It's just a clip underneath, so all you do is just literally, you get a bit angry, just wrench it off. See, it's just a clips, and that's all there is to it. So, here's the main circuit board out of the TV. Um, so, some interesting parts we've got the RF filter, nice inductor, spot battery, great capacitors, a nice uh, ceramic resistor there. Um, we've got various transistors. Over here, um, caps of all descriptions. Uh, we've got two chips here, not sure what they are yet. Various diodes, basically, lots of great parts. Uh, let's get the transistors out and see what, see what they are. These are just some of the parts I've collected. Um, excuse my hands, they're dirty. This TV is a uh, really dirty so um, we've got a whole range of capacitors um, here um, a couple of standoffs useful things if you're building things a nice fuse in its holder a whole bunch of tactile switches excellent quality of course the speaker um, some heat sinks um, what we've got here is we've got the audio output jacks, audio input, and the infrared receiver transmitter. Nice little signal transistor there. We have a thermistor, of course, an RF filter, a nice uh, ceramic capacitor, crystal. Oops. A nice crystal, four megs, some very large uh, inductors, 
a good quality um, variable resistor and then we've got a host of chips here so next room here Oop. what we got here so we've got over here we've got the audio amp the fire chip and the video amplifier chip. Here we've got a PWM controller and an EEPROM. This big fat chunky monkey here is a NPN transistor. It's at uh, 1500 volts, 10 amps, monster. And then we've got here, we've got a, oh, we've got the old uh, TL143. Uh, TL431, sorry, C voltage regulator. Uh, we've got another voltage regulator at 19 volts, I think it's 42H5A. Uh, and we've got here a MOSFET, power MOSFET. And we've got here an IL317, uh, which is the equivalent of a TL317. Volt, very low voltage regulator, everyone's favourite voltage regulator. And we've got a filter there, as well as a host of cables, um, some heat sinks. It's a whole host of stuff really that you can uh, that can be reused, especially these chips here and the 317 uh, voltage regulator. If you're making any kind of uh, circuits with that needs uh, voltage regulation, an NPM, a big NPM power transistor there, beautiful big one. Uh, all good quality parts, all all uh, firm yeah, company parts, not um, not uh, Chinese ripoffs. Same with the uh, the uh, uh, capacitors. Um, all good quality parts. Um, all good looking good on the ESR meter. So there you have it. Uh, lots of things you can recover from a TV. And of course, you've got the what's left on the circuit board, which is the flyback transformer, which I won't bother removing. Um, I don't use, I don't play with high voltage. You've got the diodes down here, some more diodes around here. Lots and lots of capacitors. Nice big chunky monkey uh, resistors over the place. Some more capacitors there. Little disc capacitors. All excellent uh, material, it's, but it's very dirty. A big transformer with the with the um, actual data on there, which is if you're going to need use a, 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 a switch mode power supply and you need to look for a transformer, you can get all the data off that off that uh, part number there, which is useful. A lot of them you don't get this; it's kind of useless. You have to rewind them. Well, this is the parts there, so you maybe and the cost the PWM chip, so you could reuse that or something. Well, I suspect it would be very high voltage the size of the thing. So there's a whole host of things. Um, what I normally do is I just normally remove the flyback transformer and the big and the big parts that stick out so I can lay it flat and then come back if I'm looking for a particular part or resistor or something then I can come back and find it, scan it and find it very easily. Um, and these are all good good quality parts. You know high high watts these are what two watts or something resistors there so there you go lots and lots of stuff you can recover from old tvs they're not uh, something that should be thrown away but uh, you know you get the parts um e each part is money it's all it's all cost and time in finding the parts and so you know even the connectors here um, i've reused before you know if you if you were doing something uh, you wanted to use a connector these are already made just pull them out stick them on your circuit board and you've got the wires uh, hopefully long enough to whatever you're doing fantastic quality parts there's uh, nothing you can better than this well that concludes the, uh, this video um of this uh teardown of this old tv um if you found something useful if you like the videos give us a thumbs up or drop us a comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already but just one thing to remind you uh, if you do take the old tvs apart uh, especially if they've been switched on be wary of the, uh, the capacitors, uh, some of them are very high voltage and they'll make your hair stand on end if it doesn't kill you.